Hello, I'm going to show you how to create a cover for a KDP paperback book, a front, a back, a spine with bleed, without Photoshop, without GIMP, without any image editing program, just with Canva. And it's quite complicated because you need to think of everything. You need to think of the front, the back, the spine, and the bleed all around. And it's quite difficult to calculate, although I will show you a very easy way. In this example, we have a six by nine book, six inches wide by nine inches tall, and it's going to have a hundred pages in it. So this is how you do it. The width, you have two pages, of course, and you have the bleed. The bleed is 0 0.125 inches all the way around. And because it's doubled up, it's 0.25 of an inch. And then of course the spine, and that is the page count multiplied by 0 0.002252 of an inch. The height of the cover is a bit more simple. It's just the page height plus the bleed. Again, that's 0.25 inch figure. So here is our example of a six by nine inch book. And we have calculated the width to be 12.48 inches and the height to be 9.25 inches. But don't worry if you can't do all that math. Of course, you can always go to the KDP cover template generator. And here is the link. We will go with our example. It's six by nine. It's 100 pages and it's white paper color. The cream paper color has a different width. So that calculation I just showed you won't work for this. But when you download that template, you can see the spine width anyway. So it's very easy to calculate. It's just six by six. That's the front and the back cover plus the bleed, which is 0.25 plus the spine width, which is 0.23 and the height is 9.25. So that's the figure you need to use for Canva. Again, don't worry if you don't get this right, you can download the template at KDP and you can find the inch or pixel dimensions from that. So here we are on Canva. We've logged in and you must be able to see this custom dimensions button. And this is the free version of Canva. It won't cost you a penny to do this. So we click on custom dimensions and we choose inches and then we key in those measurements that we got earlier. So it's 12.48 inches wide and the height is 9.25. Create new design. Right, I've shown you in other videos and I will show you in other videos how to incorporate illustrations and photos into your cover designs. Very important. However, I'm going to do one which is just text only. So with notebooks, low content books, any sort of books, really, you can just give a typographic treatment to the cover. And as long as you're very, very sympathetic with the typography, you make it look really good, then it will sell, as I say, especially for low content and notebooks. So first of all, I'm going to give it a black background. So we'll go to elements and shapes. And somewhere here, there is just a shape that we can cover the whole of the background of the template. Doesn't matter if you go over the artboard there, but of course you want to make it black. So we'll click the color up here and choose black. So there's our background. The next thing I want to do is so important because this is really the whole reason why I'm doing this video and that's to give you spine text. Now I do think spine text is extremely important because what you put on the spine will be the title of your book and the title of your book, as we all know, is incredibly important because that contains the keywords by which people will find the book on Amazon and hopefully purchase it in their droves. It's also a very good thing to do for your book designs. So let's add the text now. And what I want you to do is click on text here, ignore these lovely fonts for the time being, but you'll see three 
lines of text here. We want something simple and small so we can get it to be centered. And we will do this with this bottom bit of body text. I just hit it once and then I can just type my cover. Let's um, select that and choose the white color for the spine text. Now I'm going to get my spine text. And here is the title for this notebook that I'm doing. So we'll copy that back into Canva and let's put that title in there. Now we have to extend that text box. So it's we've just got one line on the spine. Of course, the spine's always got to be one line and select it all. We want it bold and in nine point. That's always OK for Amazon. They never complain when it's nine points. And as long as it's in the right place, which is what I will show you how to do, then the book will pass at KDP. First of all, though, of course, we need to rotate it by 90 degrees so it will fit on the spine. So we'll click on that rotate button and at 90 degrees, we'll let go. And this is the important point. Of course, the spine is going to be in the middle of the cover template. So we click position here and we'll go with center and middle. Center is the important one, but we'll hit middle as, as well. And there it is. So that should be your spine. And now you are free to do the design for the back and the front. Now, as I say, I'm going to do a typographic treatment to this front cover and I'm looking for a friendly font as this is a notebook that is aimed at gin drinkers. I've no idea if this is a good niche or not. I'm just doing this as an example to upload at Amazon and show you how to do a cover on Canva. So I'm just scrolling through the fonts now. Why not that one? We'll click it once and I think all the types in black. So we'll click on that and click white. There we go. Now what happens is when you choose these, they come in sets, font sets of uh, two or three fonts. So you have to remember to select them in the other text boxes and delete them. So there it is. But we can now size this and put it into our front cover position. And the text is going to say it's gin o'clock. Yeah, we've got letter spacing there. I'm going to just tighten it up a bit so we can make it a bit bigger. Maybe increase the line height a bit. And then the size can be um, 64. OK, now what's difficult is we've got to remember we've got about three millimeter bleed here and we've got our spine here, which is a bit thinner. So what we don't do is um, center it between the edge of the black here and the spine there. It needs to be centered a bit to the right. So we'll go down a little bit like this. And then we want it in the middle of the page. So it looks great on the Amazon results page. And we will hopefully get a click through to our product page and somebody will buy the product. But that is it. You can put a blurb on the back. Remember, just don't have any text on this general area down here because that's where the barcode goes. But that is it. You can use an image. The only thing you can't do is guess where the spine begins and ends. And you can't, of course, guess where the bleed begins to and ends. And that's why it's always better to do a cover either in Photoshop, Illustrator, GIMP or Affinity Photo or any of these desktop image manipulation and image editing programs, because then you can just get that template and work around it, put a layer over it and you can then make sure where your spine is and where the front cover and back cover is. And you don't have to guess like you do here. However, not all of those programs cost money, but most of them do. And, and Photoshop is extremely expensive. GIMP is free, but it's kind of buggy. 
So this is an option for you guys who don't want to use any of that software. Last thing to do, we go download and PDF print. And we don't want to check the crop marks and bleed. We do have bleed, but Amazon knows that the bleed's there. It knows what size it is. It knows the number of pages. So at KDP, we just upload this PDF and we'll be fine. So let's download that PDF. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed that. This is Rob Cubbon here. I've been selling low content books since uh, for about six months now. And I did nearly $3,500 in December alone. So if you would like my course, you could click on the link below this video or try out any of my free courses. And one last thing to say, thank you very much for listening.